integration using substitution. We have the integral of sx over cosine x, and then we are making the substitution, letting t equal to cosine x. And here's the main question. The first step doesn't make any sense to me. How exactly can sine x over cosine x equal negative 1 over t when t is equal to cosine x? Well, let me explain. First, this right here is just the integral of tangent x, and usually just write the sine x over cosine x. That allows you to pick t to be the denominator. So this right here is t, which is on the bottom. It looks that we just have the integral of sine x over t, right? But here's the thing. Right here, we also have to get the dx from this equation. Whenever we do a substitution in an integral, after we pick a variable to be one part of the integrand, we will have to differentiate both sides to squeeze out the dx. So let's go ahead and do just that. Taking the derivative on both sides, we get dt dx equal to the derivative of cosine x is negative sine x. From here, let's multiply the dx on both sides. This is just like doing the differential. So dt equals negative sine x dx. And in fact, you can always go from here to here. I just the differential formula. And then we have to get the dx by itself. So let's divide this on both sides. That will give us dx equal to dt over negative sine x. Now we can use this to replace dx. So we will get dt over negative sine x. Have a look. What happens? Here we have the sine x, and then here we have the sine x on the bottom. So they cancel the out. And we have this negative, we can put it on the outside of the integral. So this becomes negative integral 1 over t dt. And that's how exactly we got that earlier. Of course, I'm going to finish this right here. So let's continue. The negative stays, and the integral of 1 over t, you ask yourself, the roughly what function will give you 1 over t, and the answer for that is natural log of t. But when we do the indefinite integral, make sure you have ln absolute value, right, attached absolute value of t. Because sometimes we may have some negative numbers, let's say negative 3 to negative 2. We must make sure that the input of ln right, are OK, so that's why we have the absolute value. And sometimes people will say, hey, go ahead and put on plus C already. But I, will tell, I usually tell my students, just put a plus C at the very end. Doesn't really matter. We're almost done though. T is what? Cosine x. Put that back. We get negative ln absolute value of cosine x and then plus C. And you can box this for the answer. That's it. That's it. However, I do want to mention that when we're integrating tangent x, this right here is not usually the standard result. It's OK, but we have a negative right here, right? So this is what we can do. Look at this part, negative 1 times ln absolute value of cosine x. By the log property, we can put a number right here up here to make that into an exponent. So we get ln absolute value of cosine x raised to the negative 1 power. And this right here is not the inverse cosine x. This right here is cosine x to a negative 1. So we get 1 over cosine x. So again, perhaps I'll just make a note right here. This is 1 over cosine x. The moment you put down a negative 1 right here, this is the inverse cosine x. And this and that are different, right? This right now are different. They are not equal. I know it's bizarre because sometimes if you put like cosine and then square, we say that's equal to cosine, and then we put a 2 right here, right? I agree. The negative 1 notation, this is perhaps one of the worst notation, right? A lot of people don't like it. I do have another video talking about this, so you can watch that. But for this right here, we are really talking about this situation. 
So ln absolute value of one over cosine x, yeah? And what's one over cosine x? Secant x. So this is ln absolute value of secant x, just like that. So you can also answer this as ln absolute value of secant x plus c. This is OK as well. And in fact, this right here will be the standard result of the integral of, what's this? This is tangent x, and this is just equal to tangent x. All right, so hopefully this right here helps. That's it.